Alright guys, I'm in downtown Raleigh. About to do a review for y'all. Get in honey. I've been there, uh, it's been a minute since I've been there. But when I did go, the food was good. And I'm gonna do a review on that for y'all today. Since I got some free time. And I'll go to check it out. Sun's out, sun dresses and fun's out. Soft skin looking dumb brown. Now that's what I'm talking about. Come so with the tongues out. No way we can come down. No way we can come down. Beasley's chicken and honey. Right on Wilmington Street and Martin. So, right on the corner of Wilmington Street and Martin, yeah, intersection. Last time I was here, it was a long time ago, and I had the pot pie, but the pot pie was amazingly good. It was like, probably the best pot pie I've ever had in my life. But I never really came back to um, try the other food, so since I got free time today, I'm gonna come back here, try it out. So uh, what I'm trying today is the chicken and waffles and getting the pimento mac and cheese, which the waiter suggested was a popular side dish. So, and I haven't had chicken and waffles, so hopefully this is probably the best chicken and waffles I've ever had, so. I mean, I've had, well, I've had them separately, but I haven't had them together, so this would be the first time I've had them together. And I ordered a cheer wine, and it comes in a nice bottle. So, I kept looking at the menu. The menu's posted on the wall, so here, I'm gonna do a quick yeah, one. See, their menu's posted on the wall. This is their brunch, and brunch cocktails menu and their rest of the menu is over here so you have to look on the you just come when you come in you look at the walls to see what you're going to order and then the drinks and the cheer wine i kept looking at the cheer wine so i got the cheer wine for the drink and they got everything on the walls and it's really nice the, uh, the paintings are really nice ambiance is really nice but yeah, just look on the walls if you want to know what to order. Definitely winning with this, with the cheer wine in a bottle. I've never been <laughs> served cheer wine in a bottle at a restaurant, so this is pretty cool. Oh, and for the people that don't know, cheer wine is definitely a southern favorite. So, drink for soda. So, if you come to the south, you see cheer wine, try it out. All right, I'm gonna try the mac and cheese now. See how that tastes, first bite. That's really good. I've never had pimento mac and cheese. But it is really good. Yeah. Oh, it's good. Mm hmm That's great. Pimento mac and cheese is great. All right, you too. I'm having a hard time just to stop eating it. So I'm gonna try their fried chicken. Looks really good. Oh man, that's a really nice crispy taste. You can see it's just golden. I guess I need to try it with the, um, so they gave me honey butter. I got the syrup, I got my Texas Pete. I forget what one of these was. was. Maybe it's two syrups. I, I know it's something different, but I forgot, but this was the honey butter. So, maybe I should save that for my waffle. Put it on my chicken, be kind of, be very extra. Never put butter on my chicken. Mm. 
chicken's good. I don't know if you can see the smoke coming off of it, but it's definitely fresh. Chicken's breaded very well. Really good. Let me take a dig into this waffle now. Get y'all a taste of the uh, show y'all how this is gonna be. I'm gonna pause. I gotta let y'all see this action. So I put the butter with the honey butter. Well, no, the honey butter on top of the honey. No. I put the honey butter on, on first and then the honey. And then I was about to see this maple syrup drip. Oh no. I guess if you're gonna have chicken waffles, gotta do it like this. That's really good. I like how the butter tastes in it with the honey, and then we got the syrup. Three combinations that I didn't think would go together. It's really good. Really good. Loving the combinations. It's got in front of me as it had um, their stuff either. Yeah, this is it. So if you come here, definitely get the chicken and waffles and the pimento cheese. This is gonna be your first time coming here. Cause it is really, you do not want to pass up this taste. I like the combinations. Didn't think that would go together, but it does. I'm about to see how to taste the honey on my chicken. I'm gonna put a little on my chicken for you. It goes great on the chicken too. So put the honey on your chicken. I'm gonna try not to do too much to put syrup. <laughs> I don't even think I need to take this beat. We're gonna use the honey. This is cooked so good. All the way around, and the way it's breaded, it's so delicious. So definitely come here and check them out. Leave in the comments below what you tried when you came here. But yeah, the next time I'll come here, I might avoid getting the chicken breast because this is such a hard piece. This is, it's a lot. And you know, you always run into that problem when you get to the center of the chicken breast after the skin where it's kind of dry. I put so much Texas feet on there. I mean, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just full. I still have a lot left. Well, yeah, I still have a good piece left. So the chicken breast, unless you like the chicken, like if you want a lot of chicken, you get the chicken breast. I, I probably could have went with two wings. Two quarter piece wings. And I'm good. This is her restaurant called Chuck. Yeah. I'm young all. Oh. She heard the cap and was a nice good, good burger. Ain't got a fair getting dumb clothes. Burgers and shakes and sun glare. I want to do a burger and shakes. Come to Chuck's. Then they got fries and more.